Being able to recharge your drone batteries running a long day out or up a mountain can be absolutely crucial. It's not always about recharging an empty battery, but more about always being able to take off with a full battery so you can set up the shot for each flight and get the video you want without having that early return to home morning kicking in. So today I am talking about four of the meatiest power banks on the market from OmniCharge, from small and compact right up to chunky portable mains power. But the crucial point is, do they actually charge your drone properly? That is what I am talking about today. Hello, I'm Ian and I play with drones. And anyone that plays with drones also plays with these meaty power banks when you're away from mains power. Your typical phone charger is not going to make much of a dent on the bigger batteries found in the A3S or the Mavic 3. As I said, you often want to recharge a half-used battery so that it's full and ready for the next flight. And that is why I go for these big capacity and crucially the ability to fast charge some of these bigger drone batteries so that I'm not taking off with half empty batteries. Now, there's a good reason I agreed to become an ambassador for OmniCharge. I'd used a couple of their smaller models and they really just worked well for me. Tough rubber casing that didn't need to be wrapped up in cotton wool, uh, but enough power to fast charge a near empty three, A3 or A3S battery in around an hour. Absolutely perfect for topping up the batteries of any drone that I was walking with inside my backpack whilst I was walking to the next location on any hike. So these are the four models that I use on a regular basis from the small and compact Omni 20 Plus right up to the meaty mighty Omni Ultima. Obviously I've got very different specs, uh, different features, some good points, some bad points, some work really well with drones, others not so. So let's go through them now, uh, start off with the smallest one. 20 plus, this until recently was my favorite uh, one to take away on day hikes or city breaks and the like. Small enough to slip into your carry-on luggage or any backpack that you had, but powerful enough to recharge your phone and uh, a small drone like the Mini 4 or the Mini 3 if I was traveling with that. It's got wireless fast charging on top for your phone and it's also got QC 3.0 fast charging via its USB-A outlet. And as for drones, as I said, Brilliant for charging your Mini 3 or your Mini 4 Pro. Smaller drone batteries, they can get recharged in around just over an hour via the 60 watt USB-C outlet. And you'll get around three battery charges on this unit. And of course, if you're just topping up half uh, discharged batteries, you're gonna get more than that. So this is why it was such a useful unit, small enough to pack anywhere, but large enough and powerful enough to actually charge stuff up. The 20 plus version has got a mains power outlet that can actually produce 120 or even 240 volts uh, up to 100 watts. Absolutely crazy for cutting your hair up in the mountains. Whilst the 20C plus version of this drops the mains power outlet and puts in an additional USB-C uh, outlet up to 100 watts. So great unit for smaller drones like the mini series, but still not so good for these bigger drones like the Air 3 and the Mavic 3s with their bigger batteries, as obviously they're gonna take a bit more to get charged up. With all power banks, you can actually work out roughly how many battery charges you're gonna get by comparing the watt hours of the power bank versus the watt hours of the batteries you're gonna be charging. The 20 plus has got 72 watt hours of capacity. And whilst the mini batteries, they're only around 20 watt hours, but the Air 3 and the Mavic 3 batteries, they're way bigger. The Air 3 batteries, they're 60 watt hours. And crucially, these big batteries, they need at least 65 watts USB charging power and ideally 100 watts to fast charge. So that is why this new model from OmniCharge uh, really floated my boat and has now become the new go-to model for me to take away. This is the Omni 30C Plus. It really is the model I was after. Still small enough to slip into your backpack quite nice and easily, but crucially bigger. It's 94 watt hours, which is enough for a full recharge and another half charge of a half discharge battery. But crucially, the USB-C outlet also pumps out 100 watts. And of course, 100 watts is the magic number that gets these bigger batteries fast charge in around an hour or so from empty. You can see here up in the Lake District, this was the perfect partner for the new Air 3S. Topping up the batteries after each flight, fast charging, meaning that a half-used battery was fully charged in around half an hour. And that is what I needed when I had my big day up in the mountains, but in the new Air 3S through its paces. Taking a closer look at the 30C Plus, you can see it's got these three separate charging pads, wireless charging pads, one for your phone, 
one for your watch and one for earbuds. Uh, the phone will work on any phone that supports uh, wireless charging, but the only the Apple Watch and the Apple earbuds are supported on the other two charging pads. But things charge faster by cable, and it is the two USB-A outlets with uh, QC 3.0 fast charging that I use for my phones, whilst using the Meaty 100 uh, watt USB-C outlets charging the Air 3 batteries whilst I was walking about. Um, of course, you do need to have a uh, USB-C cable that can handle 100 watt charging. The Omni 30 Plus comes with a 100 watt charging cable and a fairly meaty uh, 60 watt mains charger to recharge the power bank itself. But if you're after more, then maybe this strikingly designed Omni 40C Plus might be up your street. This is the unit I take camping a lot. Uh, it's almost twice the capacity of the 20 plus, 142 watt hours. Um, that is enough to fully charge an Air 3 or an Air 3S battery a good three or four times if they're not fully empty. And again, it's the 100 watt USB-C outlet that is useful for getting things really charged up nice and fast. Low power USB-C charger is gonna literally take around three four, even five hours to charge an Air 3 battery. I've seen it happen. Uh, it's happened to myself when I've used the wrong charger. So having something that is gonna always charge it up in around an hour, absolutely brilliant. Uh, weight is more of a thing on this though. And also um, the design makes it a little bit harder just to slip inside your uh, backpack. This comes in at a full kilogram or two and a half pounds. So like I said, not quite so subtle when slipping in your backpack, but in the camper van, absolutely brilliant. I could always have it fast charging the drones, even whilst it was charging up itself from the van's main power itself. All the Omnis have got something called uh, pass-through charging, so they can charge stuff even whilst they're plugged into the mains getting charged up themselves. The 40C Plus is actually a really intelligent bit of kit. It's got this striking design for a reason. It's actually the perfect laptop stand. And it really is designed for laptop and desk working with a built-in USB hub where you can plug your laptop in one end and you'll actually then get uh, USB-A and USB-C outlets the other end. So you literally turn one USB-C outlet on your laptop into four or five USB outlets the other end. Um, it's also got an SD card reader and even an HDMI out if you need to hook it up to a larger external monitor. Um, I suppose my only criticism would actually be uh, this thing here. This is the tiny little screen that's uh, up top and absolutely tiny, tiny little writing. Um, in fact, same goes for all the labeling of the uh, outlet as well. Very, very tiny writing for the labeling. I don't know, maybe I'm just getting a little bit old and need some reading glasses. Another thing though to keep in mind though, uh, it's 142 watt hours, as I said. Now, that's well over the standard 100 watt limit for carry on luggage on planes. So whilst most airlines will allow you to carry this on board, you may need to declare it in advance or get approval in advance. Either way, you definitely wanna check in advance with your airline uh, before you actually take it on board as some may refuse it. And then finally we have this chunky, beefy, meaty. This is the Omni Ultimate, designed to be tough and rugged with a super tough, uh, rugged case and a uh, removable little protective shield for all of, the, uh, all of the ports. So nothing is left to be exposed to dirt or rain. Um, this unit can pump out 120 watts of AC power, 120 or 240 volts, depending on where you are. So any equipment you've got that needs mains powers, you can see here giving Ted a haircut with the clippers on Brighton Beach. Uh, it's also got two USB-A ports and two USB-C ports. The USB-A's go up to 22 and a half watts, which is quite high, and the USB-C port, again, 100 watts for that super fast charging. Beefy unit, it is heavier than the uh, Omni 40C Plus. This is about 1.4 kilograms, so knocking on the door of three pounds. So again, it's got 142 watt hours of capacity, so again, you're gonna need to check in advance with your airline if you're planning to take it on a plane. For me, it really is a great unit for the outdoors. It's the toughest of the Omnis, but if you don't need mains power, then I don't know, maybe the uh, 40C Plus is a better one to go to, purely because it's slightly lighter and I think it's got a funkier design. Um, bottom line, of course, is it all depends on what you're charging and where. If you've only got the Mini 3 or the Mini 4, then really the 20C Plus is probably gonna be more than fine. 40C Plus, 
always brilliant. As I said, for me, the Goldilocks model, just right, not too big, not too small, is the new 30C Plus. Small enough to slip into my backpack, big enough to charge pretty much any drone that I'm flying with. So there we go. Uh, look, as ever, I will put some links down below for you. And of course, keep in mind, these are just the models that I happen to use. There are m other models available. These are not cheap, but they are really well built and they do my primary job of charging drone batteries really well. That said, you could argue, you could just buy another couple of drone batteries yourself if that's all you're gonna be using for. But if you're actually gonna got other stuff to be charging as well, I genuinely think you cannot go wrong with the OmniCharge. Anyway, look. That's it for today. Hopefully you find these videos on different bits of kit useful again. Uh, if they do, give me a little thumbs up, of course, always helps things along. Let me know your thoughts below. Either way, until next time, have fun, happy flying.